So the problem with this whole thing, if you ask me, is that you would think that they could mention other reasons that people are flat earthers, you know, like the fact that NASA has been lying about going to the moon for 50 years, you know, the fact that they took more photos on the moon than is even possible. Even when you multiply it out by the amount of people on the moon, the amount of time they were on the moon, you take all the images, take in the time that they were on video that we know of, and they would have been taking photos at a rate of like one every 10 seconds the rest of the time they're on the moon, completely and totally impossible. Or that water always finds its level. Or the fact that surveyors don't take perspective into account, even though we know 100% that things appear to get smaller with distance. Or that we can see Canagoo from 1,000 feet high when it's 175 miles away. I mean, we can either admit what we see, or we can trust men who tell us that we actually don't see the mountain chain, that you see the sun and the moon cause mountains to rise a few thousand feet, displaying themselves perfectly for you at the horizon line. Or they don't mention the Chicago skyline, where the globe calls for the buildings to be hidden completely. But we can look at the uh, skunk bay footage, the time-lapse footage, and see how weather affects our views of distant shores and how atmospheric effects can account for everything that we see and everything that we can't. Or how they explain our observations without assuming the Earth is a giant ball in space, just like density and buoyancy can ex completely explain gravity. And the only thing they can't explain, of course, is how the Earth became a sphere. No, gravity, this unseen force, must exist because everything must pull to the center. It's required by the model that has been built on for hundreds of years. Uh, how about ignore asteroids and meteors or uh, who chooses which gravity? Einsteinian, where it uh, isn't a pull force but a push force because mass bends the fabric of space-time? Mm -hmm. Or is it Newtonian gravity? Which one are we actually looking at? Uh, don't mention that NASA trains in a pool as if this training was anything like space with somebody swimming behind you carrying all your cords and handing you all your tools. If that doesn't happen in space, why the hell would we practice like that? I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. How about the idiotic design of the ISS that no engineer would ever put every operating cable and control and cord and multiplexer, demultiplexer, all of it they put on the outside of the craft? It makes no sense, it's actually embarrassing to think that any engineer would come up with that design. The impossibility of it um, or that it's maintained and cleaned by a three-person crew. <laughs> I mean, that is ridiculous. The amount of cleaning and dusting and everything else that would need to be done on that, and the seal protection, and it's just not there. You know, if they get a leak because they're little uh, O-rings, well, you got a leak, and then you do a spacewalk, I guess. Uh, don't mention the uh, $53 million a day. That might be a little bit too much for people to grasp. Like, what do you mean? Who gets $53 million a day? NASA does. What do they do with it? launch rockets about once a month into the sky and they go pretty and then they do a sonic boom from the sky and people like Red's Rhetoric have an orgasm uh, that's the only thing I really noticed um, let's see, we don't mention uh, that there's no cameras on the moon looking back at Earth because if we can get to the moon so easily we can put all these robots there and we can put the LRO to go around and take pictures we can do all that, what a godsend it would be to sit a camera on the moon, face the Earth there would be no more questions about eclipses we could show it in all the schools, but they don't have it wonder why how about the fact that there's no 24-7 video feed of the Earth from the craft that's in orbit of the Earth? Nope. It's on the dark side sometimes, so we got to shut off the cameras. Otherwise, we'd have to, like, beam them off satellites back to Earth. Ooh, that'd be way too hard. Uh, don't mention uh, that there's boats over the horizon. Mm, big mistake there, but it wasn't mentioned by IFL Science. Yeah, The fact that, hey, you know when boats go away, they disappear behind what looks like the horizon to your eye? Pull out your camera, zoom in, and there's the boat again. Yeah, imagine that. It didn't actually go over any curve, did it? They don't mention that. Yeah, leave out the uh, idea of plane flights that make no sense on the globe, ones that travel from southern South America up north to, say, Frankfurt, and then down to Dubai or uh, down to Johannesburg. Don't mention any of that. Uh, that might make people look into it. Um, how about the lack of undersea cables from Australia or New Zealand to South America? or the lack of cruises between the same two places. They don't mention that at all. Don't mention the Earth.Nul School site removed the AE map uh, once people started to catch on to the fact that everything made sense on the AE map. Um, they didn't mention that, did they? They didn't mention that the jet streams on a flat Earth make sense versus the supposed 300 mile per hour easterly jet stream in the south that is spinning 300 mile per hour faster than the Earth in the direction that the Earth spins. That's still a big one, and people can't grasp it. Take a basketball, 
spin it on your finger, and then realize if that was the Earth, that there has to be a wind going in the same direction as the Earth, 300 miles per hour faster than it. Does that make sense to anybody? Sure, it shouldn't. Um, how about the problem with the east-west on a globe, as I showed last week, or I'm trying to think of these off the top of my head. I don't know. Uh, Coriolis. We have a problem with Coriolis. It does not exist on a spinning planet with an attached spinning atmosphere. Wouldn't make any sense. Or that we have no evidence of a gas atmosphere without a container, or no proof of a 93 million mile distant sun. Look at my video called Scaling Indifference, telling us that we can adjust the sizes and distances and the observation remains the same from Earth because it remains the same angular size. Or the idiots like Brian Cox, who actually said, and I quote, nobody in human history, as far as I know, has thought that the world was flat. Let me say that again. This is a quote from Brian Cox, cosmologist or physicist or theoretical jackass, whatever one he is, said, and I quote, nobody in human history, as far as I know, has thought that the world was flat. So I guess Brian Cox in his college education may have missed when they talked about the Babylonians. Hmm. Did he miss when they talked about the Egyptians? Oh. How about names like, I know these are rare, you may have never heard of the Mayans. I don't know if you've heard of them. How about the Hebrews? How about the Incas? How about the Navajo? How about the uh, Norse? How about the Hindu? <laughs> Nobody in the history of human history has, as I know, has ever thought the world was flat. That is a jackass statement if there ever was one. But or they, they tell you that you can easily see the 240,000 mile distant moon, which is a joke in and of itself. Uh, even though the inverse square law tells us that the uh, light on the moon would be about at 1,000 miles from the moon, the light of the moon should be 65,000 times as bright as it is from Earth. Give me a break. It's impossible. Go watch the moon landing films and tell me those guys are standing on something that is 65,000 times as bright as we see it from Earth. No freaking way. It's a lie. It's all a joke. So you can get into, I mean, there's so many more. They didn't bring up the Foucault pendulum, which of course is their proof of the Earth spinning when it wouldn't even possibly work if the atmosphere moved along with Earth. Think, people. Use your heads and think if there's an atmosphere sitting on a spinning Earth and the Earth is spinning and the atmosphere is moving with the Earth, then there is nothing that would be affected on the Foucault pendulum. Please use your head. Please don't just trust people who try and tell you that they know what they're talking about because guess what? They don't. So I just wanted to go over that video real quick. Uh, I want to check out some of my SAO COM 1A mission footage that I just filmed um, of this rocket launch from SpaceX down at Vandenberg. Um, other than that, uh, thank you all for joining me. Trying to keep it quick and to the point. Get those out there just so you can realize that those seven things are just meant to keep you from looking further into it, which is up to you. Again, you can be, you can believe the lie if you want. You can be done. You can say, I live on a ball, spinning in space, endless space with endless planets and endless stars and endless universe and endless galaxies. And you can believe all that. Go to bed. Have a good night. Um, that's all you have to do to believe a lie. Or you might have to look into it a little bit. You might have to start digging to see that we've been lied to on a mass level. So I appreciate everybody so much for watching. Thank you so much. Uh, if you want to uh, become a Patreon, a patron, you can go to patreon.com slash jaronism. That'd be awesome. Join the crew over there. Appreciate all my uh, patrons so much. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all that you do for me. Thank you a ton. Uh, also, if you want to uh, help me out in an easy and cheap way to support this channel, you can go to jaron. Sorry, that's wrong. You can go to j.mp slash jaronamz. All you have to do is type that in before you shop at Amazon, then do your normal shopping. You pay your regular price, and I get a percentage to help me make more videos. So if that's good for you, you can do that. If you hate me and rather I didn't make any videos, I've got a suggestion for you. Go to my channel name, click on it. Go to About, click on it, and then block my channel. You'll never have to watch another one of my videos again. How happy are you? You live on a ball. Nobody's questioning it. You can continue in fantasy land for as long as you want. And you can buddy up and be best buds with uh, I freaking loathe science, the coolest website ever for uh, for idiots, basically, who, who love science. And they love it so much because it means they can just be lazy asses and don't have to ever look into anything. Because science already knows. They've already proved it. Men, a long time ago. They did it. So, other than that, uh, I appreciate you guys watching and remind you always to do your own research because if you do, you'll never again believe what you've been taught. Other than that, nothing else. We'll see you next time. This has been Jaronism, and until next time, 